So let's start on the back and grab two blocks if you have them. In this video, I will show you how to ease chronic hip pain naturally. Let's make sure that your hips are super happy and not grumpy. If you do not have blocks, then use a stack of books or you can use pillows or bolsters. That works perfectly well. If you like my content, remember to like this video, then remember to share this video and hit the subscribe button because this way you get more tools for better well-being. Separate your legs, bring the soles of your feet together and rest your thighs on the blocks, the so-called butterfly shape. You can spread your arms out to the side with the palms facing up, lengthen the back of the neck, tuck the chin under and let go. Let go. Notice the heaviness of your body against the ground. Notice the back of the head. Let your forehead soften and spread. Let the corners of your eyes soften and spread. Let the corners of the nostrils soften and spread. And let the corners of the lips soften and spread. Keep a smile on the lips. And really make sure that you can relax the hips, relax the thighs. Try to breathe through the nose, in and out. And as you breathe in, your belly bulges. And as you breathe out, the belly softens. And if this works for you, then you can release the breath into the hips, into the thighs, fully letting go. And then slowly undo Dismantle the pose, move your thighs back together, remove the blocks and then take a moment in the body. You can stretch out the legs if that works for you. You can also keep the knees bent. Perceive what's going on in the body. Move the legs closer together and as you inhale, you take your arms overhead. You point the toes and then as you exhale, you flex the toes and move the arms back down. Inhalation, move your arms overhead, point the toes. And exhalation, undo, move your arms back down and flex the toes. Lengthen the back of the neck. Do that again. Inhalation, arms overhead, pointing the toes. Exhalation, moving your arms back down and flexing the toes. Keep that smile on the lips. Synchronize the movement, especially breath and arm movement and the legs, so that all happens simultaneously. Inhalation, arms overhead, pointing the toes. Exhalation, now pull the left knee into the chest. Inhalation, take your arms back and stretch out that left leg. Point the toes again. And then with your exhalation, hug the right knee into the chest. Inhalation, stretch out your arms and your legs. Point the toes. Keep a smile on the lips. And exhalation, hug the left knee into the chest. Keep the neck long. Tucking the chin under, inhalation, taking your arms backwards, extending the legs, pointing the toes. And exhalation, hugging the other knee into the chest. Inhalation, extend your arms again, pointing the toes. And exhalation, hug the left knee into the chest. Do all of that at your own pace. Your breath, your pace is absolutely unique. So no need to follow my pace because my pace is individually mine. The more you are able to practice at your pace, the faster the healing. So we do the same thing in an alternative. So if you do not want to hug the knee, you can also grab the back of the thigh here, especially if your knees feel a bit weak or you have an injury, then this works equally well. In a 
inhalation, arms overhead, pointing the toes, and exhalation, slowly moving the other knee towards the chest. So you alternate, and then you move your arms up into the ver vertical line, stretching out the leg, and then slowly moving the leg down, keeping it bent, left leg up, arms into the vertical line, and then you also drop your left foot on the ground, palms facing down. Inhalation, you take your arms backwards again, keep a smile on the lips, exhalation, hug the right knee into the chest, or you can grab the thigh at the back or from the side. So really just flow, doing that at your own pace, breathing regularly, Inhalation, taking your arms backwards. Exhalation, pulling one knee into the chest. Inhalation, taking both arms back. And exhalation, left knee into the chest. Extend the left leg and your arms towards the ceiling. Exhalation, pulling the left knee into the chest again. And then we do this a few times. Your right knee stays bent. With your exhalation, the knee bends. And with your inhalation, the leg extends and your arms too. Your shoulder blades are soft. Doing that at your own pace. Keep your neck long. Soften the jaw. Release the breath through the leg. And guide the breath through the body. Inhalation, extending. And exhalation, bending the left knee. Pulling the knee in, extending one more time as you inhale. Exhalation, bending, making sure that you do all of that at your own pace and then you can drop the left foot and your arms and your hands. Inhalation, taking your arms back up, facing up towards the ceiling and then we do the same thing on the right side. Remember, Keep the knee, the right knee, in a pain-free range. Inhalation, you extend. Exhalation, you hug into the chest. Make sure that the shoulder blades are nicely supported, that you pin down the left big toe and that the back of the pelvis is supported as you do this. Breathing regularly in and out. Doing all of that at your own pace. Breathing in and breathing out. Great job. Supplying your right leg, your right hip with oxygen and breathing regularly as you supply the body with oxygen. Let your forehead soften and spread and let the corners of the lips soften and spread. Breathing in, extending and breathing out, pulling the knee closer to the chest. Doing all of that at your own pace. You pin down the left big toe. Mm, and then with the next exhalation, undo. Drop the right foot on the ground and the palms and then lift your arms up again. Exhalation, hugging the left knee into the chest. And then you interlock the fingers behind the thigh. Pull the left knee as close to the chest as you comfortably can. And then with every exhalation, you extend the leg a bit more. Make sure that your arms are steady. So you really pull that left knee into the chest. The left leg is not straight. You keep your right knee bent, pin down the right big toe and really get this good work here. As you exhale, you bend the left knee a bit more and then as you inhale, you stretch it out a bit more. But really make sure that you use your arm muscles to pull the left knee into the chest. So the knee does not move in the sense that it is not going to change the angle. But you keep working the backs of the thighs here, breathing into the thighs, supplying the left leg with oxygen and making sure that you are in a place of letting go and easing and then you can undo and then we do the exact same 
thing on the other side. If you like, you can switch the on interlock, lengthen the back of the neck again, and then you do the exact same thing on that right side. Make sure that your right knee stays stable in the sense that your right knee is relatively close to the chest. And from there, you extend, pin down the left big toe to the ground, keep a smile on the lips, and you really supply your right leg with oxygen. Breathing regularly in and out, making sure that you breathe at your pace, that you synchronize your breath with the movement at the leg and that you do all that with joy in your heart. Breathing in and out regularly, supplying your body with oxygen. Hmm, awesome work, great job. And then as you inhale, extend again and then you can undo. Let go. Extend the right leg one more time and your arms and then rest your right ankle on the left thigh. Keep your left knee in a pain-free range. So I show you here different variations. Make sure that the knee is happy and then you twist towards the left side. Here the same applies. Make sure that your knee is happy and then you lean in and get a good stretch at the right hip. You can move your right knee away from the chest, releasing the breath into that right leg and supplying that leg with oxygen. You can move in and out, turning your head to the right side and breathing regularly in and out. You can also just pause and sense and then you can slowly undo Extending the leg and arms towards the ceiling again. And then we change. We do the exact same thing on the left side. Rest your left ankle on the right thigh. And then you shift to the right side. And if you've been suffering from chronic hip pain for quite a while and perhaps you also suffer from imbalances, then please reach out to me. Send me an email at thebodyconditioner at gmail.com or visit me at thebodyconditioner.com and let's figure it out together. I really want to be of service to you and help you with an individually tailored approach to help you heal and to feel more alive in your body. Return to that exercise and then at some point you can stretch out the legs, you can land on the ground again and really take your time before you get up, breathing in and breathing out and being present in the body. <laughs> 